Hello YouTube, welcome back. Well, thanks for watching Easy B Tactical. I'm Easy B, also Edmund. Today we're gonna to talk about my favorite gun in the world, HK MP5, but in this case, the SP5 or the clone. I was fortunate to have, uh, to borrow this SP5 from a good buddy of mine, Curtis. Thanks a lot for loaning your, your, your piece here. This is an HK SP5 that has been retrofitted to be a little more classic and original. So we're gonna do a, a comparison and a review in my opinion, whether or not this versus a clone are you shortcut it if you cannot afford the SP5? Or are you okay with a clone? And how do they compare? Or is there a major gap that justifies the fact that this is almost about $3,000? And a clone like the PTI 960 here is about $1,700, $1,600 at the time. Let's get started. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, subscribe, share the video, like it, and um, yeah. If you don't wanna watch the whole video, a clone, this is the shortcut. Too long did not read. Basically, a clone is worth it. A clone is worth it versus the HKSP5 because they are so similar. And depending, of course, I'm talking about reputable clone, Zenith, PTR9CT, um, there's another key player that I forget the name of, or well, Sentry AP5. Uh, there's another key player that makes the copies of the MP5. Basically, my experience has been this PTR 9 CD 9 CT is very accurate, feels the same, shoots the same than the HK SP5, except for a few exceptions, which we're going to talk about right now. The part of the bottom line is you can't beat the real thing because of the, val the, the value, the brand, the, the hype, I think, that you get from owning an original, whether you're talking about cars or guns or cigars or toys or whatever. Having an HKSP5, if you can afford it, of course, it's better. Having the real deal is better than having a copy of the real deal. Overall aesthetics and look, this started as an HKSP5 pistol with the basic, well, the common handguard like this one, and uh, a cap in the back. This is register, you know, as you register something as a short barrel pistol, then you can mount short barrel rifle, then you can mount a stock to it. In this case, this one has a collectible stock from HK. Um, which I have to operate. So the finishing touches on the SP5 are a little more refined than the, the PTR 960 clone. I have not inspected in details and compared this with the AP5, but I think overall still on the HKs, the finishing, the, the, the way the engraving, the markings are, it's definitely more pronounced, more details, which of course, through the machining, the attention, the quality level, maybe, maybe that's where you get a difference. But from 10 feet or five feet away, the pistols are the same. Unless, you know, of course, you talk about different trigger pack and things like that. They shoot very similar. The biggest difference was using a brace versus using something rigid like a stock, which we'll talk about when we go to the range. But overall, I think for the money, if you don't have two thousand dollars or more, really more like twenty eight hundred, three thousand for an HKSP five, you are going to be very happy with a clone. In my case, I have the PTI nine CT, which I've never had a problem with, no issues, no malfunctions, shoots great. And you notice, although the nine CT includes a, a Picatinny rail on top, I don't even run that red dot because I love the MP5 as it is so much. I prefer to shoot it with the adapter, 
round sides and the front side as they are looks and feel are the same you can tell some of the details which i'll cover when i do the close inspection on the internals on the riveting the finishing and things like that but you know there are a few details like the the linear loop right here on the front uh near the the front trunnion and uh, sides block ad adjustment on the original it's not on the clone the few things you know the way the the trilog look close you know close up the way the rivets are this uh, some of the rivet spots or marking the marking on tops on the hksp5 you have the the serial number the the brand and the model here on the spitia 9 ct you have the serial number that you can see through the picatinny rail through a little window there um, They're pretty, they shoot pretty much the same. I think the difference is in that support in the back. I feel like with the collectible stuff, because it's a little more rigid, I'm able to group a little bit better, especially these were all shots at a rapid rate of fire, except for these guys over there. Constant rate of fire, rapid rate of fire. So I feel like the SP5 maybe is the barrel accuracy, but I think they're pretty much both accurate, but the SP5 seems to be a messed up here, of course. The SP5 seems to, a little bit, to be a little bit more tight compared to the, and there's no one else here beside me, compared to the PTI 960, the clone, which all on paper, but it's a little wider. And then I went uh, 25 yards, I tried to do a shot in this tiny space. I hit the green tiny silhouette, one two three four five but here you can see the sp5 maybe i was taking more of my time but tight group almost a double capture and then one two three so five total but I, I i missed one up so they should pretty much the same i should put the brace on this sp5 which i did on the previous video and see how it works but they're pretty much the same let's put the brace on this and see what happens the brace on the SP5. Do a successional. Uh, I'm gonna do a few rapid shots on the target to see. 
if the grouping is tight or looks the same. Let's do left shoulder. Well, well, well. I really think that collapsible stock makes a lot of difference because of its rigidity. So these are the rapid shots I tried to take. I was aiming at the left shoulder area. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So the collapsible stock is what makes the SP5, I think, grouping. I say as far as I'm, when I'm shooting, a little tighter because of the rigidity. Looks like although the grouping is not tight, I have more control here. Maybe because the PTI 960 clone is really minor, <laughs> I'm used to it. And the SPA 5, I haven't shot it enough. But that collapsible stock makes a lot of difference in, in terms of tightness of grouping. They, they feel the same. The, H the SP5 feels maybe a little bit heavier. I'm not sure, I wish I had a scale, I don't have a scale, but the SP5 feels a little bit heavier. Now this collectible stock also weighs more, so it may, it may be, may, may that, that may be the reason. They shoot the same to me. The triggers feel the same. The triggers feel exactly the same when you press them. One of the differences, I love the safety button on the SP5 though. This one comes ambidextrous and it's very smooth. I can operate with my thumb directly. I think on the PTI 960, it's a little rigid and it's only one sided. Of course I can upgrade that. Of course I can buy any parts that are properly made for an MP5 and they will fit this PTR 9CT, which is the beauty of those clones and all the MP5, right? They're very, mo they're very modular. You could turn, you could buy a clone and I posted a separate video on the upgrades on how expensive you can make an, uh, you can make a clone MP5. You could buy a clone and outfit it the way you want it to, the way you want to, to make it more modern or more classic or combination of both. So I, SP5, again, very nice. This one especially being retrofitted with the Handguard with a flashlight, a surefire, I believe it's called a 628 or something like that, I forgot. I put it on another video on expensive clone upgrade, which I will post before this one or after this one, I'm not sure yet. Um, actually before this one. Yeah, it's 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 the, it's the real deal, all right? Uh, let's see how much a, a latest the SP5 cost lately. I think it's about I know you can get an original German import right now for $3,200 because I saw the Atlantic Firearms. I think these, the US made, they'll go about $2,800, $3,000. Of course, gun brokers or other auction sites, you can find crazy packages that people are trying to sell for $4,000 or so, depending on the on when when there's availability or shortage, shortage on the SP5. In conclusion, I think if you have the money, even if you have the money, buy two, buy the SP, buy the, buy a clone that's a full size and buy a K version. But if you wanted to have the real deal, if you're a true collector, or if you are a very picky collector, buy the HK SP5, of course you cannot regret it. And then buy a, a clone there, a clone version to go shoot or mess with. But I, I will shoot the SP5 all the time, every day. It's super cool to have something that's uh, classic, timeless, works very well. The accuracy between the two is, for me, very, very comparable. Compar comparable. Almost identical, I think. Uh, manual of arms, of course, very similar. I just run on this pistol brace. I have a QD mount on this classic one. If you were to run it, really classic the way it's set up right now you will need to run a two point loop a two point sling or even a three point sling between the linear in the front the loop in the in the back of the stock here so hope you enjoyed the video let me know in the comment would you rather have an sp5 or buy two 
variant or i'm sorry two clones if you do <clears throat> if you have an sp5 and if you have a, a, a clone which clone do you have post a comment let me know uh this is my favorite gun in the world i wish i could afford a real mp5 those go for about fifty five, sixty thousand dollars. last time i checked i checked for a civilian version right um now if i were ffl or anything like that maybe i could acquire some for a little less than that but even when you I shoot you shoot fast they're very accurate very smooth i'll have another video coming up comparing an sp5 to a strybog 9 sp9 a3 which is another roller, de roller delay blowback that i have so hope you enjoyed the video subscribe if you're not already a subscriber like it comment in. let me know your comment if you have one of these and if you do what have you done to your mp5 or sp5 or sp5 clone thanks for watching stay safe ah get some training whatever class you took on your rifle or pistol you can practice the same drill with your mp5 and work on accuracy and reloading and things like that so gotta be trained on all those farms and all those things that we own for fun get some training especially on the mp5 the reloading is a little different the charging and things like that take care talk to you soon